How's it going guys? Welcome to our first FIFA 21 video. Uh, it's our first upload in a fair bit now. A few months I want to say. Of course our last one being a FIFA 20 review. Uh, and yeah, it's quite unfortunate. FIFA 20 died out really early, uh, not surprisingly. But uh, you know, it was just a relatively dead game. Uh, in the la latter stages of it, but uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just very excited to finally be able to play FIFA 21, just like all of you guys, uh, and you know, I'm really enjoying the gameplay as well. Uh, tell me, comment down below what you guys think of it, but uh, I personally love it. I think the, the game just feels much more balanced and uh, much more skill-based, and it's, it's just much better than last year, because last year, as you guys know, it was just a defensive snooze fest, so boring to play, and the attacking just feels far more fluid, so, you know, players like Anthony Martial are a, you know, a blast to, to use, you know, and uh, we used him in this 4 triple 2 I'm still trying to get used to, you know, what works, trying to figure out uh, what to use, what to try, and, uh, you know, obviously with crossing back, you know, I can see wingers being... You know very important and the two striker formations could also work because of you know having more players in the center could contribute to you know more goals so uh, we use this martial card with alex Teixeira up top who's also fairly popular uh it looks very good and uh, you can definitely compare some aspects of each other's uh you know each other's cards so uh, we'll get into his stats i will start out with his pace 89 sprint speed and 88 acceleration you know he's got great pace uh, he doesn't feel rapid like a texiera you know so if you play him through on goal he's not going to just blast past you know the center backs and absolutely obliterate them but at this stage of the game you know he's he's got that pace where he will cause a lot of problems for the opposing defenses so uh, you know the pace is fantastic um, you can, of course, boost if you really want to, but uh, good pace on Martial. His shooting is good. He's very good in front of goal, 85 finishing and 82 composure. And, uh, you know, just his ability to, you know, he's got so many shot types uh, with the, the traits. I believe he's got outside the foot trait. He's got uh, finesse shot trait, I believe. Uh, so he's capable of scoring all types of goals, which allows him to, um, you know, obviously score more. Uh, his dribbling, his ability on the ball, as you guys know, is fantastic. He's got that four-star skill moves. Um, he's got the 89 ball control or sorry 89 dribbling 87 ball control So he's very good on the ball very good in these tight spaces and that really enables him to create his own chances You can see your great bit of skill to get between the two defenders and then he's able to with the outside the foot shot trait score that goal So, you know with all these, you know that tight control there He's able to maneuver and then strike it from distance So just his ability to you know set himself up it really really adds another dynamic, you know to this card and you can just see the types of the shots he's he's taking. You know, he's able to score these. So his shooting's fantastic. You know, his long distance shooting isn't, you know, his stats aren't great, but you know, he's capable of still scoring from from range. 79 long shots with 83 shot power. Uh, in terms of his passing, you know, he's able to link up fairly well. 80 short passing is good. 84 curve, which again, pretty uh, pretty good. It contributes definitely to the finesse shots. Uh, and then the physicality stats, probably his worst category. 54 aggression is fairly low. It doesn't seem as important as last year. Having high aggression strikers was uh, very, you know, very important, but uh, that's pretty low. And then uh, 77 stamina, it's, it's not too much of an issue. I haven't really noticed stamina being uh, that big of an influence in the latter stages of the games as it was, you know, like last year. And, uh, and then he's got 76 strength, which is, I think, pretty good. Uh, and he's got a good, you know, size on him. I believe he's like six foot, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's six foot, so he won't really get bullied off the ball by the center backs. And then um, 70 jumping, 71 heading accuracy. So he's not really going to be exactly, you know, an aerial threat per se. But overall, I think this is just a really good, you know, well-rounded overall attacker uh the three-star weak foot again you could argue is a bit of a negative but you know he was still capable of scoring uh, on his weak foot you know I, I found some of these statistics i guess aren't as influential as last year so uh, overall i think this is you know a fantastic card obviously especially at this stage of the game do i think he's worth the price you're going to be paying him because i mean what he's 160k is max on playstation and 70k on xbox so he's gonna be really expensive i don't know if he's exactly worth that obviously you know the league the nation and obviously the card it contributes to that price i'm not sure uh if you pack them obviously that's great but i think there might be better options out there uh in terms of price so that's gonna be my martial review please like the video of course subscribe comment down below who you'd like to see next and thank you for watching